Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for y'all today. So today we are asking the question of whether your person misses you. Um, so obviously this is going to be geared more towards little to no contact situations. We have three groups to choose from. Group one is the Buddha statue. Group two is the Himalayan salt rock. Um, I grabbed this out of my salt lamp. And group three is the Anubis statue. So I will give you guys a moment to make your choices. And while you're doing that, I just want to wish everyone a lovely week and a lovely holiday. If you're in the U.S., um, Thanksgiving is this week. Uh, I am currently taking a little bit of a break from personal readings, partly because of the holiday and also partly just because I've been getting a little bit burnt out and I just need some time to recoup. Um, so yeah, if you still need more time, go ahead and pause the video because we are going to get started. All right, so group one. Let's see, I think for you guys, I'm going to use this deck. So this is the Wild Unknown Tarot. Group one, is your person missing you? We have the Knight of Cups. Six of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, Six of Swords and Six of Pentacles. And let me grab one or two Oracle cards and then we'll get started with this. Guys, um, yeah, your person definitely misses you. Um, the 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 main thing that is coming out here uh, is that this person spends a lot of time reminiscing on memories that you share, memories that they have of you. The Six of Cups here talks about the past. It talks about nostalgia, um, you know, going home. It can indicate something returning from your past as well. In this context, it's just showing me that the person who's on your mind right now spends a lot of time looking back. I think, like I said, reminiscing, um, feeling nostalgic for, you know, the times that you shared, um, the conversations that you had in the past. And I think that they are, for, for most of you, they are wishing that, you know, they could go back to that. The, um... The Knight of Swords here, this is, you know, mental activity. This is our thoughts. Um, this is also associated with communication, insight, clarity. Um, this also is a very quick moving kind of energy. And so in the context of this type of question, um, first of all, this tells me that uh, your person does think about you a whole lot. Um, also, 
this plus the Knight of Cups, we've got two Knights. Knights in general talk about movement. They talk about messages, offers being made. So we have these two cards here that suggest to me that the person you are thinking of right now not only reminisces on the past, the memories that they have of you, they not only think about you a lot, but I think that they want or they wish that they could come back towards you, okay? Um, I, I get the sense that they really would like to have some kind of communication with you, okay? Um, with the Knight of Swords being here and also the Knight of Cups specifically, uh, you know, this card tends to represent love offers or messages of love, you know, somebody talking about their feelings, expressing themselves. Um, and we also have the Six of Swords here, which is another card that talks about movement. This is really about peaceful resolutions. This card can represent reconciliation, um, you know, coming together and moving forward past some kind of conflict or some kind of discord. So as I was saying, you know, it seems to me like this person not only misses you, but they really would like another chance to like make things right. I think that this person definitely is hoping for some kind of reconciliation. They definitely want to have an opportunity to talk to you. Um, the Six of Pentacles is to me another card that speaks of communication as well. Um, this is about balance. It's about reciprocation. It's, you know, it represents some kind of equal give and take. So this card plus the Eight of Pentacles um, tell me that whoever you're thinking of right now, um, they are feeling like they want to put some effort into this connection again. Um, you know, the Eight of Pentacles is about hard work. It's about you know, doing what is necessary to achieve some kind of particular goal, right? Um, and so these two cards together are showing me that your person is, you know, not only missing you, not only wanting to come towards you, not only wanting to work things out, but they're also wanting to, you know, make the effort to maintain a stable balanced relationship to you again. The wedding card here is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it says the situation involves marriage. Uh, the um, This is from the Romance Angels Oracle deck, which these cards I typically don't interpret super literally. So, you know, this card can obviously talk about marriage, but it can also just talk about commitment, unions, um, you know, stability of, of any kind, uh, just generally speaking. And so, I mean, again, I'm, I'm getting here that your person, it's, it's so, it's so, uh, it's coming through so clearly, like, this person, I think, is very, much missing you and wanting another chance to make things well a, a chance to make things right another chance to um to be to be with you to have a relationship with you um whoa that's too many cards i want to pull some other cards because i want to look a little bit deeper maybe into what's going on here we have the seven of pentacles we have the Hierophant and the Two of Pentacles. And we have Yang reversed. The Hierophant is another card that speaks of commitment. This also is about tradition. It's about... Um, Conventions, it can represent marriage, okay? Conventional wisdom is another association that this card has. We have several pentacles here. We've got one, two, three, four pentacles cards. Um, and just a lot of 
we have a lot of that earthy kind of energy. I believe the Hierophant um, corresponds to Taurus, which is one of the earth signs. Um, and the wedding card is, you know, both of these cards have earthy qualities to them. They talk about security and stability and commitment. So we have a lot of like earthy energy here. Um, so, you know, one or the other of you, or maybe both of you might be earth signs. Um, signs are kind of irrelevant to me though, because there's so much that goes into a person's personality, but whatever. Um, we have a lot of that kind of energy. And so, you know, what that tells me is that this person is like really, really wanting to have something secure here. I feel like this person wants to rebuild your relationship. Um, the Two of Pentacles is really about, it, it's very similar to the Six. It's about trying to find a balance, trying to make a decision about something, you know, trying to find a state of equilibrium in a situation. And the Seven of Pentacles is really about planning ahead. It's about, a, a lot of times I see this as, you know, someone who is, Looking back on where they've come from, um, evaluating the current situation, and carefully planning out their next step forward, okay? Um, so your person, although we do have this very intense, quick-moving Knight of Swords energy and also this Knight of Cups energy here, you know, we're seeing that this person wants to approach you. We're seeing that this person wants to reach out to you. However, they're trying not to be too hasty. They're trying not to make any rash decisions. They're trying to really be reasonable and logical about this situation. Um, because I think they're a little bit fearful of coming off or like coming on too strong or like freaking you out or something like that. Um, I get the sense that this person really wants to just come in full force and, you know, work stuff out and move forward and, you know, achieve this happily ever after rainbow kind of outcome. But they're refraining from doing that. They're trying to be a bit more, they're trying to approach this from a bit more of a rational, you know, even tempered kind of standpoint. Um, Yang in the reverse position is really about careful uh, planning, you know, really thinking things through before making a decision about something, whereas in the upright, it's a much more active, you know, go and get it kind of energy. So this person, I believe, is wanting to approach you, wanting to work things out. They're feeling kind of passionate about that. Um, but they're holding back because I think they're trying to plan out a good course of action um, for doing that. And I also think that they may have an eye upon you trying to figure out what you're doing, what you're up to. If you seem to be in a place in your life where you would even be receptive to them making a comeback. Do you know what I'm saying? Because, um, like, they don't want to... This person doesn't want to come back in only to find out that you have completely moved on and you're with someone else and you're, you know, whatever. They don't, they, they don't want that to happen. So they're trying to gauge, like, what kind of energy you're in, what kind of place you're at in your life right now to figure out is it even, would it even be a wise decision to come back forward or to come back towards you? Um, and if so, what would be the best approach? Um, but yeah, this person definitely misses you. I get the sense that they, I mean, I've already said this, but they, you're on their mind a lot, okay? I actually want to, um, let me pull out a couple, like, one or two, um, Angel Answers cards. I haven't used these in a long time. But um, I want to see if we can't get any sense of the timing for when this person may 
you know, make this comeback. Um, or if there's anything else that they want to add about this situation, about what's going on with them. Yeah, okay, we have get more information here. Um, when I was talking a couple minutes ago about how they're probably keeping an eye on you, trying to figure out what's going on in your life, what you're up to, this is what this card is talking about as well. Um, yeah, they, uh, they, they just want to know, they want to know where you're at right now so that they can tailor their approach accordingly. Um, so let's see if we can't find out when this comeback might happen. We have big happy changes. So this is a relatively, obviously this isn't a timing card, but this is a, a relatively um, present kind of energy, okay? Um, I'm getting the sense that this person, if you're watching this around the time that this video is being uploaded, um, this person may actually reach out to you around Christmas time, okay? Or New Year's, but I get the sense that, I mean, even even if you're watching this at a later point in time and Christmas is over, um, I get the sense that probably about, about a month from now, because this feels present, this energy feels active. Um, we don't really have a lot of cards here that suggest a waiting period besides the seven of pentacles but all of these other cards here and also yang reversed to some extent but you know all of these other cards here for the most part are showing me you know even though there's a lack of action right now there's a lot of intention okay and there's a lot of potential for action so i don't think that it's going to take too too long for this person to um communicate with you. So group one, that's what I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that this resonated with you and I hope I see you next time guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a lovely week. Have a lovely holiday if you're celebrating anything this week and um, we're going to talk about group two. All right. So group two, I think for you guys, I'm going to be using my um, little mini deck here. This is the Tarot of Pig and Cats. I've only used this deck once before on this channel. Um, I don't use it a lot because, well, I don't use it a lot in my videos because it's very small and so it's more difficult to see what the cards are, but it's it's calling me calling me yeah it's calling me today I'm sorry I can't talk um, it has things that it wants to say to you group two so let's find out if your person is missing you that's too many cards <laughs> We have the Ten of Pentacles here. We have the Four of Wands, if it would focus. There we go. Four of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Justice. Please focus. Please focus. Oh my gosh. Okay, and let's get one more of these. Okay. 
Okay, that's that's not that's not one. Okay. And the King of Cups. I love how my camera has um, selective focusing capabilities. So um, let me grab an Oracle card for you guys and then we'll get started talking about this stuff. I have a glare on the cards, okay. Honeymoon. All right, so group two, the person that you're thinking about absolutely, um, I believe, has you on their mind. This is definitely an energy of, hmm, how do I want to say this? Th th this person that you're asking about definitely seems to have good feelings about you. Um, I get the sense that you probably haven't spoken to this person or been in any kind of contact with this person for some time. And so some of you might be thinking, like, really, this person is still thinking about me? This person still misses me in any way? And I see that they... Okay, let me, let me rephrase this. This person... Missing you might be the wrong... Yeah, miss, missing might be the wrong word. Um, this person does think of you. This person does think of you. And this person does have good feelings towards you. However, I get the sense that right now, they seem to be pretty content with the way that things are between the two of you. Um, I mean, we have here the um, Ten of Pentacles, which is a card that really talks about stability, um, wish fulfillment. This card is about happy home life, uh, domesticity. You know, it, it's associated with those types of energies, those types of ideas. Um, and then we also have right underneath that the Nine of Pentacles, which is similar. Um, however, in relationship readings, this card tends to represent somebody who is single, somebody who is, you know, very content on their own right now, someone who is trying to make the most of the time that they have to themselves. So I get the sense that your person, while they definitely do have good feelings towards you, um, they seem to think highly of you. But I don't really get the sense that they actually are missing you, if that makes sense. Um, I mean, I think they, you know, it, it seems to me like they think of you fondly, but at this point in time, they're not really in a place where they are wanting to go back or you know, wanting to come back, you know, whatever. Um, you know what I mean. They're not really in a state of mind where they are, you know, longing for the times that you spent together or wishing they could return to the days where the two of you were on good terms and you had a relationship to each other. Do, do you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's not because this person doesn't care. And it's not because this person doesn't like you. Um, on the contrary, I think they do care about you. And I think they do, like I said, still have good feelings towards you. But they are, I think, really focusing their attention right now upon themselves, which seems to be a good thing. Um, I'm getting the sense that this person is learning to love themselves um, either for the first time or all over again. Um, the Justice card is, uh, well, let me talk about these first. Um, we've got the Four of Wands, which is about unity celebrations. Um, this is considered to be one of the Twin Flame cards, um, one of the Soulmate cards, so you absolutely, and Justice is too, to an extent. Uh, so 
you absolutely could have some type of soul connection with this person, particularly something, you know, kind of high level. I think for a lot of you, um, this connection has served a higher purpose. I think that part of the purpose of this has been to help both of you to, you know, learn something new about yourselves. Self-love, that could be a lesson that you've been, you know, asked to learn via this relationship. We also have the Knight of Pentacles, which is about stability. It tends to represent like offers of commitment or, you know, somebody who is trying to move towards greater stability, greater security. My camera won't focus. I don't know why I keep trying. Um, and also the Honeymoon card here. This is a card that I actually associate a lot with the Six of Swords. Um, so I relate it to, you know, things like peaceful resolutions, reconciliation, um, you know, working through problems and moving past them. So, like I said, this person seems to really be focused upon themselves right now, trying to better themselves, trying to figure out, you know, exactly what their priorities are, um, what their goals really are. They might be shifting uh, or changing direction a little bit in their lives. Um, and so that's their main goal. And I don't feel like, I don't feel like this person really wants to come back towards you right now because they feel as though they are still a work in progress. They don't want to come back around until they feel really confident, really, you know, sure that, you know, they, they're the best version of themselves that they can possibly be. Does that make sense? Um, I do feel as though they are going to, more than likely, they are going to um, contact you at some point in time. Uh, Justice here talks about taking responsibility, being held accountable for your actions. It can also represent an apology. Um, so, you know, if this person has acted like a fool uh, towards you in the past, I do feel as though they're going to try to make amends or they're at least going to, you know, take responsibility for that and apologize for it. Um, and for some of you, when that happens, I think they're also going to want to try to, you know, reconnect with you a bit further and not just apologize, but try to actually work something out with you um, so that the two of you could, you know, actually have some kind of relationship again. I'm not sure that this person is going to explicitly want anything romantic. Um, I do get the sense that for a lot of you, they're going to be content just being a friend to you, being able to support you um, in some way, emotionally, you know. Um, if there's something that you maybe need some kind of help with, that kind of thing. Let me pull out a couple more cards, see if there's anything that uh, they want to add to this. We have the strength card. This is about overcoming obstacles, facing adversity. It's also about inner strength and um, endurance, persistence. We have here the two of wands as well and the knight of wands. So these two cards, um, wands in general, very active energy, um, particularly the knight. This is uh, passion. This is excitement. Um, the person we're talking about definitely feels connected to you still. There's definitely still an attraction there. Um, with the Two of Wands, yeah, for, for the majority of you, I think this person has already decided that they're going to take this step to try to make things right, to try to, you know, be accountable for the way that they treated or the way they, they, they behaved towards you in the past. Um... Two of Wands is, for me, really a decision that's already been made. 
So this is something that they are intending to do, um, but they're still, right now their focus is still really upon themselves and upon their own circumstances, what's going on in their own lives. Um, they seem to be aware that, I, I get the sense that for a lot of you who pick this group, um, you're not super invested in this connection like you used to be. And so for many of you, you're just kind of looking at this out of curiosity. Um, and I think that, you know, if that's the case, your person knows, or whatever the case is, they feel as though you don't really want or need to hear from them anytime soon. Um, they're doing their thing, and the way they're looking at it is, I'm going to do my thing, I'm going to let them do their thing. It's, it's like from their point of view, you know, the two of you, you've, you've gone your separate ways, you're going down your own individual paths. And I think that they would like to cross paths with you again. I think they'd like to make that happen. But um, it's really not a pressing issue for them. They don't feel like it's something that they need to do soon. Um, they're trying to just take their time. And I want to see, whoa, okay. So we have success here, and we also have perfect timing. So this definitely does seem to be something that is divinely guided in some way. It definitely appears to have a higher purpose. And I think the two of you are satisfying what that higher purpose is. I think that you have definitely learned um, what you were meant to learn from this connection, or you're in the process of doing that. So whatever you've been doing, like, keep doing it because it looks to me like you're on the right track here. Um, these two cards are saying <laughs> the timing for this, it's, they're not going to tell us. They're not going to give us like a real time frame. Um, I mean, first of all, it's going to vary for all of you, but also they're saying it's not relevant. It doesn't matter. It's going to happen. But specifically when, who cares? <laughs> um, you just, you know, you just trust that it will. And it will. And I think most of you already are. You're already, you're already there. You already have a very realistic... Um, pretty healthy perspective on this situation. Um, you know, I don't get the sense that the majority of you are like clinging to this. I think most of you just decided to watch this out of curiosity and that's totally fine. Um, this is, this is a connection that has a lot of potential moving forward. But it's potential that I don't think is going to be realized for quite some time. Like for most of you, this is potential that's that's probably not going to be realized for several years, at least. Um, you know, especially if you're young, if you're like in your 20s, early 30s, maybe. Um, I get that this is a relationship that is really going to blossom later in life. Okay, so, you know, like I said, this is more specifically for those of you who are younger. Oh my god, there's another fly in here. <sighs> this, this is specifically more for those of you who are younger. Um, but even if you are, like, an older person, 40, 50, um, then obviously this is something that's not going to take quite as long to start manifesting. Um, but I still get, I still get like a few years at least. I want to say five. Um, now I want to point out this doesn't mean that you're not going to hear for this person from this person for five or ten years, but it does. I, I am getting that this connection is not going to reach its full potential until that point in time. Does that make sense? 
There's a difference there. Um, just keep doing whatever you're doing. Go with the flow. See what happens. You'll be surprised. Um, group two, That's uh, those are all the messages I'm getting for you today. I hope this was insightful. I hope this resonated with you. And um, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys have a good week, a good holiday if you're celebrating anything this week. And I hope I see you next time. Bye. So let me get this out of the way. And lastly is group three with the Anubis statue. So group three, I think for you guys, I'm going to use the Kawaii Tarot. Group three, does your person miss you? We have the Page of Pentacles. The Empress. The Lover's Card. The Emperor, okay. Wheel of Fortune. And the Eight of Cups. Let me get an Oracle card here. your soulmate. Interesting. Okay. So we have several cards here that suggest that there is some kind of soul level attachment um, or connection between you and the person that you're thinking of right now. We have the lover's card. We have the Emperor and the Empress. These are counterparts. And whenever counterparts show up in a reading, especially a relationship reading, that to me is a sign that, A, there is some kind of, you know, uh, deeper connection here. And B, um, it represents usually people who are a couple or who are going to be a couple at some point in the future. We also have the Wheel of Fortune, which is associated with divine timing, divine guidance, fate, destiny, and the Calling in Your Soulmate card, which talks about soulmates. Um, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. It's clear to me that whoever you're thinking of right now, definitely, definitely, is missing you. Um, I actually get the sense that this person may be trying to manifest you back into their life somehow. Um, with, you know, this card calling in your soulmate. Uh, you know, this, this talks to me about like, somebody making some kind of effort to bring someone in, you know, and I think in this case, bring you back in towards them. Um, the Eight of Cups here, this is about, you know, walking away from something, leaving something behind, not really feeling good about it. You know, there is this energy of sadness and, you know, remorse, regret with this card. Um, so I'm getting that this person is really not content, uh, with the way that things are between you right now. Um, it seems to me like yeah, this this person wants there to be this person wants there to be a reunion between you. Page of Pentacles is about offers of commitment, offers of stability. Um, pages, 
you know, being the first of the court cards, they do have this kind of underdeveloped uh, kind of energy to them. So, you know, a lot of times these cards represent things that start small, but that have the potential to grow and expand. And here I see this as your person wanting there to be a reunion between the two of you. I get that from these two cards, the Emperor and the Empress, and the Lovers. This is also about union and partnerships. Um, the Lovers is also associated with choice. This person seems to really want a reconciliation, but I get the sense that they're unsure about whether you would accept that about whether you would make the choice to accept them back into your life and so i feel as though i feel as though they're just trying to have faith and trust that, you know, whatever happens is meant to happen that way. And if this is a relationship that's meant to become something more than it will, uh, I don't really get the feeling that this person has any intentions right now of taking like real tangible actions towards you, which is interesting. Um, the Page of Pentacles, like I said, it can represent offers being made, but... Um, it also talks about potential. It talks about something kind of minor, something kind of small, um, growing over time. And serendipity just came out, which is, again, a card that talks about basically, you know, the... Um, the, the workings of, of the universe, divine guidance, you know, the hand of fate. Um, this person, I think, rather than making any plans to take real action towards you, rather than intending to reach out or anything like that, I think this person is thinking, hoping, praying, um wishing that the two of you will just be put it back on each other's paths because they're feeling like if that's what's meant to happen, then it will happen. It's like they they want a reunion, but they don't want to they don't they don't want to physically go out there and like make a reunion happen, which is interesting. Um, and so they're just like, their thought process is just, you know, I'm just going to have faith that we will be brought back together when the time is right. We have recovery here. Have take action. <laughs> okay. So the take action card is funny because, like I was just saying, I don't see this person actually, at this point in time, being in a position where they are ready or willing or even able to take any kind of real tangible action towards you. Um, I get the sense that whatever went down between the two of you, um, has had a real impact on this person, even if, for some of you I'm getting, you may be thinking, what does this person have to be anxious about? What does this person have to be, you know, feeling down about? Um, I just, I get that this individual has been more affected by this connection than you realize. 
And I'm getting from this card that they're they're in a position right now where they're trying to like recover from it. It's like they're trying to. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I get the sense that this person actually feels somewhat consumed by you, by your connection to each other. Um, and the reason they're not intending to take any action is because they realize this. They have realized that they're borderline like obsessed with this connection. And so they're holding themselves back from taking any action towards you because they don't want to feel that way. They feel as though they are too much in their emotions. They are not viewing the situation rationally. They're trying to heal themselves from this. They're trying to like take back control of their life. And it, they, they're thinking if they can do that, then this connection has a better chance of surviving, you know, later down the road. Okay, this is, <laughs> I won't lie, guys, this is a pretty interesting um, energy that I'm getting here. I've never really, uh, I've never really seen this type of vibe before from, you know, any of the people that we've looked at, you know what I'm saying. Um, But this person, I think, is choosing. They, they do miss you. They absolutely do. They want to have you back in their life. But they're thinking they're going to try to heal themselves from this. They're going to try their best to just, you know, kind of let it go and, and give it to spirit to do, you know, do whatever's best, do whatever's right for both of you. Um... And so I'm really not getting a time frame for when uh, you might hear from this person again, when they may come back around, because they, they have no intentions right now of doing anything. They're really, uh, they, they seem to really be quite withdrawn at this point in time. And so, you know, because they don't have any intentions of contacting you, I can't give you an estimate of when that might happen. Because as of right now, never. Um, but, you know, their intentions can change, and they probably will. Page of Pentacles tells me that, you know, they're just... Right now, they're just waiting for Spirit to initiate this reunion. They're waiting for, you know, some seeds to be planted that could can grow, that can help this relationship bloom. And in the meantime, it's interesting because, you know, they're, they seem to be trying to focus on themselves, but they're also like low-key trying to manifest something here and I think it's like one of those deals where um, you know if, if you if you want something to happen you have to let go of that wish you know what I'm saying so it's it that seems to be like what they're trying to do um, they're trying not to like dwell on this they want it to happen but they're trying their hardest not to dwell on it because they know that dwelling on it is just going to make them feel stuck. So this is kind of interesting, guys. Uh, group three, that's really all the messages that I'm getting for you today. I hope that this reading resonated with you. I hope that it was interesting. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a good week, um, a good holiday, if you're celebrating anything this week. And I hope that I see you guys next time. Bye.